Yeah, Warner Rose. Hello, Jack. How are you, Warner? I'm fine. Say, uh, tell me, are you going to do anything in this review? Oh, yes. It's a mystery play written especially for me, around my character, Dr. Fu Manchu. Written especially for you? Yes. I bet it's good. Well, I hope so. Yeah. Well, I don't think Clive so. Brooks. How are you, Clive? Mr. Roach. Hey, I thought you were over in Europe. No, I had to postpone my trip. I had to do an item for the review. So, what are you going to do, sing? No, a mystery play written specially around my character of Sherlock Holmes. Mm. Mystery play? Yeah. Written especially for you? Yes, yeah, especially for me. But it's interesting. Yeah, come along and see it. I will. I might match up for the moment. Well, it's Bill Fowl. How are you, Bill? Oh, no, Jackie. Let's see it. Say, <laughs> he's going to do a song and dance for this review. Is that so? <laughs> No, Jackie, I'm going to do a mystery play. Uh, written especially for me around my character of Final Vance, you know? Especially written for you around your character. So, well, uh, I want to look for it. <laughs> Gene Paulette! How are you, Gene? Hello, Johnny. Hi. Yeah, glad to see you. Good day. Say, uh, I hear you're doing a couple of impersonations in this firm went on parade. No, John, I'd like to, but I've got to do a mystery play written especially for me around my character of Sergeant Heath. Well, mystery play. Yeah. Mr. Spicy for you. Yeah. Hmm. That sounds very original. <laughs> yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Say, Jack, just uh, help yourself with this spinach. I won't be needing it. Oh, no thanks, Gene. I have to run away. I have to go and take my big solo lessons. <laughs> I heard you were out for a record. Yeah. <laughs> That's very funny. He's trying to needle me. <laughs> Studio Ingenue, Jack Oakey. Honorable Sergeant Heath. Well, Fu Manchu, old boy, I hurried over just as soon as I got your phone call. You know, it's darn nice of you to phone me whenever you kill a guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, why did you have to kill him? God to my ancestors. He doubted that I was a murderer, so I killed the disbeliever. Fair enough. And you certainly did a nice job. Mm. Well, everything's cut and dry. Yeah. Pardon me, Doctor. It's a pleasure. Hmm. Now I have the nicest new patrol wagon downstairs, and you and me are going for a nice little ride. Good! <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not, certainly not. Uh, oh. uh, pardon me. Uh, uh, Dr. Fu Manchu, Mr. Philo Vance. My dear doctor. The Honorable Mr. Philo Vance. Uh, now, Sergeant, uh, if I may ask, how do you know that Dr. Fu committed this murder? Well, it's uh, more or less a hunch. You see, the dead man here was stabbed and shot. And when I came in, Dr. Fu Manchu had a knife and a gun in his hand. Now, he admitted the crime. And, uh, well, some way or another, I just kind of thought maybe he did do it. <laughs> well, very good, Sergeant. Very good. But uh, aren't you just a trifle premature? For instance, you haven't even once mentioned the word psychology. Oh, have I got to go through all that again? One moment. I want my right. Am I to be arrested, or am I not? You know, he's a pretty important man in his line. But you can't expect me to admit that Dr. Fu committed this murder until I have eliminated all the other suspects. When Fu Manchu is pleased to commit a murder, there are no other suspects. There must be other suspects. <laughs> there are always other suspects. If necessary, I shall make other suspects. Watson, there's a murdered man in this room. Amazing. How did you come to that conclusion, Mr. Holmes? My dear Watson, there are four men in this room, one of whom does not move. 
He is obviously not asleep. Since if he were asleep, there would be riveters at work next door, which there are not. As he is not asleep, he is obviously murdered. Marvellous. Marvellous. Elementary, my dear Watson. Elementary. <laughs> My name is Holmes, Sherlock. Van, follow. If you'll pardon me, I'll take Dr. Fu Man too down to headquarters and have him booked for murder. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's preposterous, us. Why, we haven't even yet discovered whether the pearls are missing or not. What pearls? What pearls? The pearls. The white devils. Am I to be arrested or am I not? Certainly, Certainly not. not. Don't be absurd. Sir. Will you be good enough to unlock these handcuffs? What? <whistles> Certainly, Doctor. <laughs> Darn clever, you Chinese. I'm sorry I didn't think of it myself. I had to do it. It was the only way I could convince them that I am a murderer. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. It's a mystery play, written especially for me. 